Hello my dear student, welcome all of you in the Omnam Survival class. So today we have a special class. Today we discuss about the genetics and there are some basic fundamentals. This class is for specially ICC class 10 but this genetic chapter is there in the CBSC syllabus and also it is there in the board syllabus like the West Bengal board also is there and the different boards they have also this chapter. So this chapter not only the ICC or class 10, the syllabus is all for all, right? So last time we discuss about the day one. So today we discuss about the day two, right? So at first welcome all of you, Sion, Cinderella, Shatanik, Oniket, Shorashish, Gaurav, Rastif, Onubhav, Shohan, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomujit, and Wendrila, Ankun, Devaru, then Shomurito, Shotanu, Srijita, Devulina, Nirupama, Ishan, Krishna Shish, Arushi, Shouresh, Roshmi, Promit, Devado, and Shaktoshi, Shomujit, Koshani. All of the students are very special. Welcome to our special day, that is the day two. In the day two class, we have the syllabus that is discussed in our today's session that is the genes and their alleles. What is genes and what is the alleles that is we discuss in our first topic and our second topic that is the dominant and the recessive alleles. <coughs> dominant and recessive alleles is the most important part. And third topic for our today class that is the genotype and the phenotype and fourth topic for the day two that is the sex linked inheritance and we have a special quiz today after the every topic is completed we have a quiz for you that is most and most important type of questions that is come from the every topic that is we are taken as a quiz for them so all of the students are very carefully listening and very carefully learn the every topic, right? So now we are start our class, the genes and their alleles. This is the most important topic. At first we discuss that is a cell. You know, the hereditary material for all the living organism in the eukaryotic cell that is present inside the nucleus. So nucleus are present inside the cell. In the nucleus, the chromosome is there. We already know that the chromosome are the ultimately the two types. One is the autosome and another is the sex chromosome. But all the chromosome that is present in the nucleus. If we are discuss some details about the chromosome structure, that time we are observed that the DNA is there in the chromosome. DNA, the full form is the deoxyribonucleic acid. But the segment of functional DNA, this part is called the gene. What is the gene? Gene is the functional segment of the DNA which have this specific function that is the gene like uh, your body color, your hair pattern, hair color all of these are the trait or character that is are controlled by the gene and gene are the segment of the segment of the DNA so at first we discuss about what is the gene so gene are the specific part of the DNA segment so this is very specific part of the DNA segment like this is the gene 1 Several genes are present in the chromosome. When that means the where gene are present, gene are present on the chromosome. Now, what is the function of the gene? Gene are determine the hereditary character. Hereditary character means the character which is passed from the parents to offspring. That is called the hereditary characters. These hereditary characters like your height, like your body color, all of these are the hereditary character and all the hereditary characters are controlled by the gene. Right? Now, the number of genes in the human. Now it is a very important question. 
a question are coming in our all of the student mind that how many number of genes are present in the humans so what is the different number of characters is there after the human genome project we found find out that the nearly 30000 genes in present in the humans in every cell 30000 genes that means 30000 genes have a special and specific function and you have already known that you have the how many number of chromosome in the cell please write down in the live chat how many number of chromosome is present in the cell how many number very good that is the 23 pairs 46 chromosome but you know in the male the number of chromosome also be the 46 but in here the 44 are the autosome and one pair are the sex chromosome that is the XY on the other hand in the female also the chromosome number are the 46 but the 44 are the autosome similar but one pair are the sex chromosome that is the XX if we analyze the every chromosome that time we find out that chromosome number one has the largest number of genes that is the 2968 this question is very important in the science Olympiad, also in the NET entrance exam how many number of chromosome how many uh, number of genes are present 2961 8 but in which chromosome number one chromosome like one two three four and like the 12, 46 that means the 23 pairs of chromosome there in one chromosome they contain the 2968 but chromosome one this chromosome only present in male not in female right they have the fewest only 231 genes this is very important information Another very important question is there in your ICC, CBSC and the board syllabus that is the define the genome or what are the genome? Genome, it is the full complement of the DNA that means the in the cell all the genes are present so including all genes and intergenic regions so all the parts are collectively known as the genes or sorry they are called the genome so the including the all genes that means they have like this is the one gene another one gene and total sum of that is called the genome this is the most important definition is there now the another point the alleles alleles are the alternative forms of the gene are called the alleles. So it is the structure of the chromosome. In the chromosome, the genes are present like gene 1, gene 2, gene 3 and here a gene is there. This is called the alleles because we are defined is that it is the alternative forms of the gene. Like these genes or these alleles are the alleles for the purple flower. And this is the another chromosome. In here also a allele that is for the white flower. But these two alleles are for present where? In present in the same locus. Locus means the location. That means in the same position of the chromosome these alleles are present because these alleles are denoted a special character that is the color of the flower maybe it is purple maybe it is white but it is the characters for the color of the flower should they have the alternative to alleles maybe sometimes one allele is the dominant allele maybe another time one is the recessive alleles so, occupying the same position of the homologous chromosome. This one and this one are called the homologous. Why it is called homologous? Because they are structurally, they are similar in nature. Similar in the structure. 
so they are called the homologous structure you have like you have in the in your cell you have the one two three four five six like 22 pairs chromosome in the one pairs chromosome you have in the cell they have the homologous in nature because the homologous means their structure are very similar and also the alleles are present in the same position what is the function of the alleles they are affecting the same characteristics but in different way so alleles must be produce the same characteristics features because alleles are present in the like in pairs like it is a capital T alleles it is small T alleles right the different type of alleles is there now we discuss that the quiz time now all of the students are ready for the quiz please you write down in the like chat box now our first topic is completed now I are give you give a quiz for our topic one Right? So first question, which student write the first answer? They get the one point if their answer is the right. So first question, every dash contains one molecule of DNA and dash are the segment of DNA. <coughs> Please write down the answer. All of the students, this is our first quiz question. Please write down very fast. Okay. Now your time end. I now show the answer. After showing the answer, please you do not write the answer. Okay? Now you are stopped writing. I now show the answer. Every chromosome contains one molecule of DNA and genes are the segment of the DNA. So you have the two options. That is the first option is the chromosome and second one is the gene. If you write down the DNA, DNA is the wrong answer in here. It is the chromosome and the gene are the right option. Now question number two, one MCQ type of question that is very important in the science Olympiad exam also. The characters in an individual always appear whenever present are called recessive characters, dominant characters, genotype character or phenotype character. Always appear. Right? Always appear. This character are called. Please write down the live chat box. Two number question. You write down uh, 2A, 2B, 2C or 2D. Now I show the answer. That is a 2B. Because dominant character which is expressed only. Recessive character do not express. Now question number 3. The alternate forms of the same genes are called. Alleles, homozygous, A and B both and none of these. The alternate forms of the same gene. Very easy question. Write down the light chat box. Which one is the right option? All of the students, please write down very fast. Okay, very good. Now I should answer. The alleles. Because alleles is the alternative forms of gene, right? Now the question number four. Structures inside the cells that carry the traits from one generation to the next. RNA, chromosome, ribosome and protein. Which one is the right option? Please write down in your copy, uh, in your live chat box. Which one is the right option? Very fast, write down, very good. Please write down all the students. So this is special squeeze for you. So right now I show the answer. Very easy question. Show question number four, the answer of the chromosome. Because the chromosome is present in the cells, nucleus, they have the gene, they have the DNA, right? Show that our answer is the B, the chromosome. And now, our second topic for today's session that is a dominant and the recessive alleles we already know that dominant which is expressed and recessive it is not expressed so dominant allele means 
it expresses its effect even in the present of the recessive alleles like capital T and small t this is the two alleles there but when the capital T is present it is called the dominant allele they are present together with the recessive alleles but the capital T and their character are expressed that means the dominant alleles always be expressed on the other hand it does not express itself in the presence of the dominant allele like capital T and small t small t is the recessive alleles and capital T is the dominant allele when they are present in both that time small t and their character is not expressed because this is the recessive allele the presence of another similar allele is not required to produce its phenotype that means capital T and small t this is the two different but their character is expressed this is the dominant allele but recessive allele require another similar allele to express their character like small t small t that time the two recessive alleles is there that time the dwarf or the short character it is expressed so recessive alleles is required the another similar alleles to produce its effect in the dominant allele it produces a dominant trait like the tall character for example another example is there red flower in the pea plant on the other hand it produces the recessive trait like for example white flower in the pea plants clear now homozygous dominant and heterozygous dominant homo means that is a similar and zygous means the pair when that has a similar pair in here the two alleles are then similar two alleles are in dominant allele that time it is called the homozygous dominant heterozygous dominant means with dissimilar pair capital r small r so this is not the similar so it is called the heterozygous dominant like you know capital t and small t that is the heterozygous capital b capital b that is the homozygous dominant because dominant alleles are right in the capital letter on the other hand the recessive character which is expressed by the alleles that means the recessive alleles always be right in the small letter so in small b small b two alleles are the same so they are called homozygous and the recessive in nature similar is their capital t capital t homozygous dominant small t small t homozygous recessive capital b and small b the heterozygous or the hybrid so this is the heterozygous and the homozygous now we have the quiz very important question please do write in the live chat box question number 1 gas is a condition in one where both the alleles are identical in a diploid organism for example capital t capital t and question number 2 dash condition is the one where the both the alleles at a locus are different like capital t and small t please write down the option in your live chat box very easy question i just tell about that please you write down all of the student very interesting question okay now your time ends now i should answer that is a homozygous condition that means the two alleles are the same heterozygous condition that means the two alleles are the not the same not in similar in nature very good now we go to our third topic that is the genotype and phenotype genotype means the set of genes present in inside the cell of the organism like you here is the black color but why it is black color because they have some genes so genes are required present inside the cells inside the nucleus of the cell so the genes 
which is responsible for a particular characters this is called the genotype set of genes present in the cell of the organism but for this genes you have a black black color hairs which we can observe in the naked eye so the color of the hair it called the phenotype that means the observable characters which is genetically controlled that means gene control this character like their body color is a red why because they controlled by the genes these genes like capital t capital t it is a genetic format it is called the genotype and capital t capital t express a character that is a tall character so tall this character is called the phenotype and capital t is capital t are called genotype clear okay very good now what box we are use in our genetical study this type of box it is it is called the punnett square so what is a punnett square punnett square is a diagram like a diagram it is used to predict the genotype of a particular cross or breeding experiment when you, when we are doing the genetical experiment or some breeding experiment that time we are use this chart that is the punnett square why to analyze the genotype very easy format like you know in the mother's gene you write down in that uh, side the capital b and small b and father genes write down in that format in the capital b and small b but when the, they are cross or hybridized that time capital b and capital b is there should be and be write down in that particular first box in the second box capital b and small b capital b and small b is write down always the dominant array you write down the first another one capital small b and capital b but we write down as capital b and small b and in here small b and small b small b and small b write down in this four box so this is the punnett square right now we have the quiz dash is the refer to the genetic expression of a trait question number 2 dash refer to the morphological expression of the trait irrespective of the genetic constituent please write down the option uh, in your live chat box koshani shobresh arshi devarun ankur all of the student or hope please all of the student write down the answer in the live chat box okay now your time is end i show the answer now so first option that is a genotype that means it is referred to the genetic expression second questions that is the answer of the phenotype because this is referred to the morphological expression clear now we discuss a very interesting topic that is a sex linked inheritance you know we have the two type of chromosome one is a autosome another is a sex chromosome but in the sex chromosome they have the different genes right but if these genes have the problem that means the sex chromosome have the different genes some of the gene of the sex chromosome have a problem so when they are inherited when they are passed from the parents to offspring that time some disease or problem arise <coughs> because this is the sex chromosome containing problems or sex chromosome related characters so it is called sex linked inheritance so how you define this thing it is the appearance of a trait which is due to the presence of an allele exclusively in either the x chromosome that is the sex chromosome another one or on the y chromosome so genes are present in x chromosome or genes are present in y chromosome and this is uh, this characters or these genes 
if transferred parents to offspring so it is called sex linked because sex chromosome with the sex chromosome gene are linked there and that is passed from parents to offspring so it is the inheritance so two type of inheritance is there one is the x linked inheritance another one y linked inheritance x linked inheritance means these genes are associated with the x chromosome and y linked inheritance means these genes are associated with associated with only y chromosome most common to example that is the most important question in your board exam x linked inheritance example hemophilia and color blindness this is the two example this is the x linked inheritance hemophilia and color blindness in here the homozygous recessive female and the recessive x bearing male are there on the other hand y linked inheritance so this is the two example please you bear me bear in mind it is the most important question in your board exam y linked inheritance the y chromosome linked traits so we are called that is the y linked most important two example is there in your syllabus one is the hypertrichosis of the ears that means the hair growing out of the ears long ears and you observe that kind of point and the pattern of platinismness these two characteristic features are always happening the male only not any kind in female because y is linked inheritance disease uh, y linked inheritance characteristics and y chromosome is not present in the female so you cannot observe this trait in the female now we have some different cases the following case explain the sex linked x chromosome linked different disease we have the two case in your syllabus first of one case one you know in the first case a normal mother mother means the x x chromosome is there they marry with color blind father color blind fathers we already know that color blind and the hemophilia these two disorder due to x linked inheritance in here number 1 in x not or x zero we write down here because the color blind father so now we are doing a punit square or the checker box in here we write down the this mothers gametic alleles x and x and in here we write down this x not and the y in the punit square how it is write down x and x not we write down here and x y write down in here and x and x not it is write down in here also x y write down in that particular box you observe that x x not in here it is a daughter because x x is there and heterozygous dominant and normal vision on the other hand x y they have the normal sort so you can do a conclusion after this case one none of the children is color blind but the daughter are the carriers but daughter are the carriers of the defective allele for the color blindness because in these alleles are the defective in nature but they do not produce the expression because they are carrier now we have given the case 2 now the case 2 carrier mother not color blind that means the x and x not they marry with normal father same punit square is write down in here x and x not and x and y is write down after that cross you observe that it is the x not x means the carrier daughter x not y that means the color blind son right x y color blind sons and x x normal daughter and in here 
x y that means a normal solve. This is the unit square in second case, and you bear in mind these two important case. Now we are here another important terms that is the crease cross inheritance. One marks question are arise from this important topic. Crease cross inheritance means this inherited characters are transferred mother to son that means in opposite sex and father to the daughter. So it is called the crease cross. The transmit of a gene from mother to son or father to daughter, opposite sex, so they are called the crease cross inheritance. You always bear in mind the two examples of the crease cross inheritance pattern are observed in the color blindness and the hemophilia. All of these questions are, are coming from that particular topic. Any question do not you get from outside our topic. Clear? Now we have a quiz time. Are you ready for the quiz? Please write down the live chat box. Are you ready for the quiz? Write down the live chat box. Now, the question are Name two sex linked diseases in humans. Very easy question. Right? But very, very important question it is. Name the two sex linked diseases in humans. Please write down. Please write down all of the students. Name two sex linked diseases in humans. Different, many sex linked diseases there. But you write down the two names that is you have in your syllabus. Name the two sex linked diseases in humans. So this chapter is very important for CBSC, ICSC and a good syllabus. But today we discuss specially for the ICSC, ICSC board. Because ICSC board syllabus is very good syllabus. So all of the students must know about the ICSC class 10 genetic syllabus. Because all this syllabus also be there in the class 12 syllabus. So this is a very important question. I think all of the students write down the answer. Now we have, I saw the answer. Hemophilia and the color blindness. Hemophilia and color blindness. Very good. So our today class that is on genetics and some basis of fundamental for the class 10. Now we today discuss about the genes and their alleles. What is the genes and what is the definition of the alleles? And after that we discuss the dominant and the recessive alleles genotype and phenotypes and we are discussed the sex linked inheritance i think you are enjoy the class if you enjoy the class please you write down in the comment box if you are enjoy the class or not right and if you have any question or any doubt please also you write down in the comment section i can solve this problem in the next day right and next day when in the day three in the next week, that time we have a mock test. Mock test on syllabus day 1 plus day 2, not in the day, day 2 syllabus only. The syllabus are day 1 plus day 2 syllabus, right? So, thank you, thank you very much. Sion, Sindhila, Shatani, Koniket, Sorashish, Gaurav, Rastin, Onubhav, Shohom, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomodit, Vaindila, Ankon, Devarun, Shomoditto, Shutanu, Srijita, Devulina, Koshani, Shomojit, and Shaptokshi, Debargo, Promit, Rosmi, Shogresh, Aroshi, Kohan, Krishnashish, Ishan, and Nidupama, and all of the other students who are now concentrated in their, our class. So, thank you, thank you very much, and wish you best of luck.